everybody back to Tony's dirty desk. <laughs> um, I just want to do a quick video today to kind of update a few things. Um, a couple of days ago, in some of the videos, the lunatic moon time and some of the things I was showing that's just coming to me and my intuitions and feelings and just things that keep picking out that just seem to repeat and repeat and repeat. I had said something about the sun, the moon, and the stars. Okay, and um, this past week, the thing happened with the uh, Pope. Um, what I want to make note of, in the photo that I saw, I don't know what everyone else saw or videos or whatever, but it was the Pope, and then he had on each side of him a boy and a girl. See, these were opposites. Then he uh, one had on red... The other one had on blue. There we go. The blue. And I've showed back in some of my earlier videos, I think like in Understanding 1 or 2, um, the, the Understanding series I did, I was showing how red and blue are like opposing colors. Uh, it's the idea of duality, and I don't know how many of you have been noticing the little uh, advertisement that pops up on some of the videos. It's a circle with a triangle in it. One is red, and then right beside it, it has another circle with a triangle in it. Uh, one's red. Red, one's blue, okay? And it's still the idea of, like, duality. They're opposites, okay? And then, I, I don't know, it's something like a, a Windows or something. It's, just, it's some kind of little ad that keeps popping up on the advertisements, but it's like, you know, like a play button or something. I don't know what it is. I haven't really... I've seen it, but it's just in my world. Well, what happens is... When you take blue and red and mix them together, you get violet, okay? And in my world, violet is the glory of God. That's like the Holy Spirit there. That's the glory of God. Now, the blue here can symbolize two things. Blue is... Ego, okay, a bruised ego, you see, and a bruise is blue, all right, and then we, I have an understanding of what is called a master of the blue ray, okay, and the blue ray is someone that has overcame their ego. Now, I'm going to try and show you here in some of the the things that I was showing here about Orion. He has I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. I think I can. He has a lion's pelt over his arm. So I would tell you that Orion is a master of the Blue Ray. He has killed the lion. Okay? Now, someone that has not killed the lion is still under the Blue Ego, so to speak. Now, I know this is really hard for people to grasp, but the Blue is a, um, boy, it's like crossing over a finish line in a weird kind of way. Well, so when I was showing this thing the other day, and I was talking about the sun, the moon, and the stars. The other day, I went out to my car. Gonna get you. And at my car, this was laying there. Now, it's a star. <laughs> I have no idea where it come from. It's not something that should just be laying there at the car. 
Okay, and this is just a, my little strange thing. I have a, a thing about the number nine. The baby, which I would consider Jesus or the Son of God, is blue. You see, this child is a master of the blue ray. And like I said, if you can go back to understanding two, I think it is, or maybe three, and I cover the colors, um, because this is why when I show this thing, I just have like some little crayon, melted crayon on here to mark the colors. That's why I say there's a, a color representation for me when I show this thing uh, and the way I got it and understood it. All right, so now what I, I'm going to kind of, so I just thought that was very strange. It was laying at my car right by my driver door, and it was no real reason why it should be there. Okay, but for me, I took it as just confirmation. Okay, now, and what I wanted to show you, okay, so I covered the thing about the blue and the red, okay, the advertisement and the Pope, okay, one child had red on, one child had blue on. Okay, and what this does, this is, is to, it's like, pick lesser of the two evils. Okay, and it's duality. It's, it's taking everything and dividing it. And you can't do that. I mean, you simply can't do that. That's, that's, in Genesis, that's knowing the difference between good and evil. Is this good or is that good? Is this evil or is that evil? Which is good and which is evil? All right. Now, one other point I wanted to make. In the body, we have blue blood and we have red blood. Okay. Okay. Um, now I'm going to take you, in some of my reading and just research, I, I, the other night I decided to look up some scripture about Orion. And the first one that came up was Amos 5.8. Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion. Wow. Uh, don't worry about this one, because I just added that in. Here is seven stars and Orion. So again, it says, Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning. Okay, now I showed that on February the 7th, the moon is going to be lined up right here in the center. So now we have the seven stars, Orion. So, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the, dark, the day dark with night. This would be a lunar eclipse. You see, the moon makes the day dark with night. That calleth... For the waters of the sea. This moves the moon, moves the waters of the sea. This is the tides. And poureth them out upon the face of the earth. Now, I don't know if that's a really high tide. The Lord is his name. And I've always been taught where it says the Lord, it means Yahweh is his name. So, Orion has tons of scriptures about Orion. All of these scriptures are about Orion. Let's see if I can, so, if you want to slow this thing down and stop and pull these scriptures for yourself, because it's just way too many for me to read. Okay, so that's one page. Here's the other one. Okay, so all of these scriptures... Come on, Kira, you always do this. ...are about Orion. Okay, 
Now, also, hold on one moment. Let me let her out. Now, also, I've been showing you, and this is just like a real rough sketch. This is still the same six stars, the one in the seventh, the moon in the middle. Okay, here's the star again. Um, this here is Monocirrus. Monocirrus is a unicorn. Has anyone ever searched the word unicorn in scripture? There are a lot of scriptures about unicorn. Now, Monocirrus was called unicorn up until somewhere in the 1700s, and the name was changed to Monocirrus. But it is a unicorn, and he also, and there are scriptures that uses Orion, Monocirrus, or unicorn, I'm sorry, Orion and unicorn, and right here is the Pleiades. And there are a lot of scriptures that are covering hold on one second, the unicorn, Orion, and the moon. Here it is. Here's one. Uh, and the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls. Okay, so here is the bull. There's Taurus the bull. He's right there. So we have the unicorn, the bull. The land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. So... It's quite amazing if you actually look at this alignment that is taking place on the ninth. Best, and I'm not an astronomer, okay? I'm a I'm self-taught with everything. Directly behind us is going to be an alignment also with Saturn. I'm sorry, yes, Venus and the Sun. So here's the alignment. It's going to be the sun, Venus, Earth, the moon, and Orion, or Beetle Guys. Okay? And then when you look at how many scripture has the bull, and the unicorn and Orion in it. You know, um, what's the other good one there about? Who can loose the bands of Orion? Yeah, canst thou bind the sweet influences of the Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion, which maketh Arcturus, Orion, and Pleiades and the chambers of the south? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them as a tent to dwell in. It's it's really interesting. I think if you wanna if you're looking for something to read or take a look at Look at Bible verses about Orion. Look at Bible verses about the moon. And look at Bible verses about unicorn. And understand, Monocirrus is unicorn. Alright, have a good day.